Welcome to 5 Minutes with Pastor Lutzer. Well, of course, during this Christmas season, we always think of the Christmas story, and it's not possible to tell the Christmas story without thinking of angels. Now, you can go into a bookstore today and you can find all kinds of books about angels, the angel within you, or how angels guard us. Virtually all of these books are fallacious, that is to say they are based on mythology and not scripture. For example, they teach that all angels are good angels. They forget the fact that there's another category of angels, if we can call them that, called demons. And once you enter into that spiritual world, you're not really qualified to tell the difference. That's why there is so much deception. Another wrong view is that these angels are there to help everybody. Doesn't matter what you believe, what religion you belong to, you can just be touched by an angel. It's actually heresy. Something else that we must recognize is that people believe that angels are often more accessible than God. God seems so mysterious. But angels are the path to God, or at least the path to the metaphysical world. All that is wrong. When we turn to the Bible, what we discover, by the way, isn't that an interesting story that Gabriel comes to Mary? Gabriel is actually mentioned by name four times in Scripture. He occurs in the book of Daniel, and now centuries later, he comes to uh, the virgin, Mary. And you know what? He does not look a bit older. Angels do not age. They will be like us someday in eternity. Time is going to be changed, at least our relationship to time, and we will live forever. But here he comes, and he, of course, delivers the message. And then in chapter 2 of Luke, we have the angels in the sky bringing their message to none other than the shepherds. There are three lessons I want us to see about angels today. The first is simply this, that they went wherever they were sent. I love that. For example, Gabriel. He was sent by God. And he was sent to the shepherds because they were very lowly. They were oftentimes despised. If I might speak more plainly than I need to, they oftentimes were quite smelly, if you know anything about sheep. It didn't matter to the angels. They were willing to go wherever God sent them. And I trust that that's true of us, no matter where God sends us, to big places, to little places, to places that are difficult. May we go wherever we are sent. Secondly, they gave the message that had been given to them by God. And there, of course, we think of Luke chapter 2, where the Bible talks about the fact that an angel proclaims to the shepherds, and then the whole heavens are filled with a heavenly host. And they are giving a message, and they are giving glory to God, peace on earth, goodwill toward men, and to those with whom God is well pleased. I should pause and say that not everybody benefits from the coming of Jesus Christ. But there they are, they are singing this song. Spurgeon, the great preacher, says, The attributes of God are seen in a little child, and God is glorified in every flower. But sing, O universe, until you can exhaust yourself. There is no song as sweet as the incarnation. And they got to sing it. Angels are beings that have been created independently by God. They serve him. And for certain, I want you to listen to us next time. And I'll tell you why. When I think of angels' relationship to us, and what they think of redemption, our redemption, I am so fascinated, it takes my breath away. So for today, let us remember to go wherever God sends us, to give the message that he has given to us about the coming of Jesus Christ. And then like the angels in Luke chapter 2 who returned to heaven, 
and of course, I'm sure, reported to God that their mission had been accomplished in the very same way. Someday we will give an account to God and he will say, did you go where I sent you? Did you give them the message that I gave you? And were you faithful to the end? The angels can say that, and I sure hope that we can say that too. Be sure to join me next time. But as for today, you just go with God. Thanks for joining us for Five Minutes with Pastor Lutzer. Moody Church Media exists to bring glory to God through the transformation of lives, and we believe this can happen through solid biblical teaching. Access our resources at moodymedia.org or follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Moody Church Media. Join us next Monday as we continue to explore the deep truths of the Bible and the Christian faith together.